the AI landscape was dominated by U.S. tech giants. But in late 2024, something unexpected happened. A new player emerged from China that caught the tech world off guard and started to rewrite the rules of the game. Stock market is looking at DeepSeek and they're saying, oh my gosh. Because it is mind blowing and it is shaking this entire industry to its core. The most the amazing and impressive breakthroughs ever seen. In one masterstroke, Li Yang Wenfang, the 40 year old founder of DeepSeek, had appended the global order to hold China back in the technology race, while big AI tech companies were all over the headlines. DeepSeek was taking a different path. DeepSeek initially came into the spotlight in late 2024 with the launch of its V3 model, but the attention was mostly limited to the industry circles and the AI enthusiasts' community. It was their next move in January 2025 that really brought them to spotlight globally. Their reasoning model R1 went head-to-head -head with OpenAI's O-Series, even outperforming their Model O1 on some benchmarks and was closing gap with their latest O3 that was released only a few months earlier. This meant that China has all of a sudden caught up with the United States in artificial intelligence. What really shocked the tech world wasn't only DeepSeek's comparative performance with frontier models, it was also how they were trained with inferior hardware and significantly lower costs. Highflyer, the company behind DeepSeek, initially had access to NVIDIA's flagship A100 GPUs, but when US export restrictions on China kicked in, their options were limited to significantly less powerful HH100s. At this point, instead of slowing down, the team got creative, making some clever design choices and using advanced model architectures. They massively improved the efficiency in resource utilization and were able to get similar results at a fraction of cost compared to other frontier models. As a result, DeepSeek had only spent $5.6 million on the final training run of their model. R1, while it may sound a lot, but it's much lower than the GPT-4's training costs in the north of $100 million for a single run and minuscule against the predicted one billion United States dollars by Anthropic CEO Dario Amade. The impact? DeepSeek's achievements sent shockwaves through the Wall Street. It had shown that you don't need the absolute latest hardware to build cutting-edge AI. This revelation hit tech stocks hard. US stock markets lost roughly $1 trillion, with Nvidia leading the fall at $600 billion. The message was clear. The future of AI was not as much dependent on super expensive high-end hardware as it was thought before. So, who is the man behind the chaos? Born in 1985 in Zhanxiang, Guangdong Province, Liang Wenfang grew up as the son of primary school teachers. His early academic record was notable ranking as the top student among 50 in his class. With his teachers noting his particular strength in mathematics, rather than engaging in typical childhood activities, Liang dedicated his time to solving mathematical puzzles and equations. In 2002, Liang enrolled at Shang University to study electronic information engineering. During his university years, he specialized in data analysis and computer systems, developing a particular interest in the mathematical foundations of financial markets. His academic performance led professors to assign him advanced projects and research opportunities. A significant moment in Liang's early career came when Wang Tao, the future founder of DJI, extended him a partnership offer. Despite the potential financial benefits, Liang declined as he felt AI was a more transformative technology and had a bigger role to play than drones. During the 2008 financial crisis, while pursuing his graduate studies at Zhang University, Liang assembled a team of classmates to develop machine learning applications for market analysis. Their work focused on quantitative trading, successfully developing algorithms to identify patterns in stock prices and global market trends. 
Their methodology involved extensive data collection and algorithmic refinement to account for market, volatility, and human behavior factors. Their breakthrough in accurately predicting gain recognition from university's senior professors. By 2009, Liang's quantitative trading project had become a recognized case study in crisis period innovation. This experience solidified his conviction about AI's potential impact across industries beyond the financial sector. In 2013, Liang Wenfeng made his first major business move by co-founding Hung Exo Jacobi Investment Management with his college friend Xu Jin. The firm served as a testing ground for their AI-driven trading strategies in the live markets. By 2015, Liang and Shujin expanded their vision by establishing Hungo High Flyer technology, focusing on integrating advanced mathematics with AI for trading systems. The company achieved its first major technical milestone in 2016 with the release of their initial AI trading model, which employed machine learning for stock trading decisions. The effectiveness of their technology was demonstrated during the market volatility of early 2017 when Highflyer's AI trading system maintained profitability while their competitors suffered losses. The company's growth was rapid and by late 2016, Highflyer was managing over 1 billion yuan in assets. This growth trajectory led to Highflyer becoming as one of China's big four largest quantitative trading firms by 2019. The company's expansion created substantial computing demands. To address this, Lang invested 200 million yuan in 2019 to develop Firefly One, an AI training system equipped with 1,100 specialized graphics cards. This was followed by 1 billion yuan for Firefly Two, which incorporated 10,000 GPUs. In May 2023, Liang made an unexpected pivot that surprised the industry. He decided to shift his focus from finance-specific solution to pursuing artificial general intelligence. This move was particularly noteworthy because, until then, his work in AI had been viewed primarily as a tool for his in-house trading operations. Later, this materialized into DeepSeek, a startup with the ambitious goal of developing human-level artificial intelligence. The timing was significant, as a GI development was then dominated by Western tech giants like Google. Developing a GI required going well beyond the foundational models these Western companies were developing, which were a very advanced technology to achieve in itself, and that made Liang's goal sound very ambitious. DeepSeek's emergence, while often viewed through a lens of US-China competition, actually represents the natural evolution of China's AI ecosystem. This is evidenced by the robust development of AI models across Chinese tech companies, from Alibaba and Tencent to Baidu, with notable achievements like the Quen 2.5 Max. In Beijing, another startup, Moonshot AI, has developed their Kimi K 1.5 model, which competes directly with DeepSeek's R1. DeepSeek's impact on the market has been significant and measurable. Earlier, their V2 and V3 models triggered a price war in the Chinese market, forcing competitors to reduce their prices substantially. With the release of R1, this pricing pressure was extended to the global market. Liang Wenfeng's leadership at DeepSeek has been characterized by two key principles. First, a focus on fundamental AI architecture, research, and improvement rather than commercial gains. Second, a strong commitment to open source development for wider adoption, which he finds crucial for bridging the development gap between Chinese labs and the Silicon Valley. He was always of the view that China should become a leader in innovation rather than adapting and leveraging the innovations of abroad. This open source strategy has already shown concrete results. A significant milestone came when BYD announced their plans to integrate DeepSeek's technology into their future electric vehicles. This partnership demonstrates how DeepSeek's approach is accelerating AI adoption across industries. Perhaps most significantly, DeepSeek has shown that a focused team with innovative approaches can reshape an industry dominated by tech giants. Their journey from a finance-focused AI operation to a global AI innovator demonstrates 
how constraints can drive innovation, and how new approaches to existing problems can yield unexpected breakthroughs. As we look to the future, DeepSeek's story represents more than just a company's success. It signals a shift in the global AI landscape, where innovation can come from anywhere, and where established players must continuously adapt to keep pace with rapid technological change.